On today's video, I filmed a masonry contractor who replaced these steps and put in granite steps. So I'm going to show you how he did it step by step. We're going to talk to him a little bit, and we're going to talk to the guys who put the caulking in. So here we go. Here's what's inside these old church steps. This is the granite steps that are going to go back in behind them. So I'm back a little while later and it looks like they're going to pour concrete in here. But just so we know how long ago this church was built. This is built 1916. See it? So 1916, you can see the concrete in here. And they already got it built up to the heights that they want to lay their, their stone on. But after about 1900s, they started using concrete. This would have all been stone if it was an old building before 1900. And over here, they relayed the block. And the stone's going to go on top of this. And we're going to go walking right up the street here a little bit to see the other set of steps. Now, when I heard they were going to fix the church steps, I thought these were the ones they were going to fix. And this is made out of Pennsylvania bluestone, and bluestone cracks up. So, it's different. Granite lasts 30 times longer. You can see, every time they put a metal thing in here, that's where you always get your cracks. Anytime there's metal putting in stone, you're always going to get a crack. But I thought these are the ones that are going to be replaced, but nope, they're going to do it down there. So they're moving along and they got the concrete poured, spanning it with the concrete. And they are really moving because it's just a few days later. So we see what's going on now with the, the concrete. And it's looking good. So now we're going to go under these steps and take a look. And you can see how they got them in there and they shimmed them up and they're going to fill that with caulking here's where they poured the concrete My name's Al Dunn. I've been doing this for 35 years. We're restoration the steps on the church. Uh, we just used the regular Portland lime to, for the restoration. And uh, I've been doing it all my life and it's getting harder and harder. So we're gonna use a Secoflex backer rod and caulking between the steps. How are we doing, Al? What's the progress? Doing great, Mike. Yeah. Maybe one more day, repointing, get it all cocked. Probably be finished by the end of this week. Great. Hopefully. Then they can put the railings on in the post, and I'm out of here. So this is what he's using, the spec mix, masonry mortar. It has a lime in Portland in it, and he's going between the joints right here, and then after that, they're going to cock it. Well, a few days later and they're all done. They're all up to the top. So they're putting what they call backer rod in, rod in here before they cock it. And these joints here are all filled with cement. All you're going to do is cock over the top of them, right? Yep. So you cock it, you tape every one, huh? Yeah, so it makes it nice and clean. Yeah. And you don't get any all over it, you know? Yeah. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it because it's neater. 
So this is what they're using, Silka Flex, and it comes in a sausage tube like this. Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Bob Nishman. I'm the owner operator of a company called Pro Mobile Hydro Cleaning. We're based out of the Scranton Wilkesbury area. Uh, we specialize in caulking, waterproofing. Uh, we also clean, clean residentially and commercially. Uh, give us a call. My uh, number will be in the description below. Well, the steps are all done. They came and they put the railings in. They came and they put the lights in. And that's it. Job's complete. So first I want to thank Al Dunn for letting me film that part of putting the granite steps in and Bob Nishman. Now I have another video similar to that and this is the thumbnail to it but it's called Installing Granite Steps Redo Mike Haddock and it was the Luzerne County Courthouse and when they were putting them in they were putting them on top of metal when they were putting the landings in the middle. So it's a little different. It was years ago, so I didn't really get that much footage. And then I have another video. It's called Stone Patio Installation Part 4 on gravel. And my brother has one of those suction machines too. And he sells uh, slabs of bluestone. Well, this is a picture of my brother's machine that he uses to lay the, the big pieces of flagstone. And this is a picture of Al's machine that he was using to put in the granite. I also have another video, it's called Rock Facing and Shaping Stones Part 5. In the old modern days when they used the stones, of course they used little cranes and they had straps. And this uh, video shows you how to use straps. And there's a little thing in there where you could buy uh, stone moving equipment like Lewis pins and straps and etc. And there's a little picture of the stone book where you could kind of buy that stuff. So check that out. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. I'll see you next video.